All right, fellas, I know it's been a minute since I posted. Y'all gotta forgive me for that. I've been pretty busy with other things. I got a text a couple of weeks ago. It was from Dr. Squash and they was like, they got a new collection out. Lo and behold, they had a collection inspired by Harry Potter. So I had to buy these. I had to do a review on it. So let's talk about them. Before we get into the video, just know, although I saw every last Harry Potter movie, I'm not that deep into it, but I did watch all of them. Now in this new limited edition collection, they're giving us four new bars. Suds of Sly, Lather of the Loyal, Brick of the Brave, and Grit of the Genius. Now you know when you get your fresh Dr. Squash package in the mail, first thing you do when you crack open that mailbox is you sniff and you see if you can smell through the package. I smelled my package and I wasn't really impressed because I was just like, what does that smell? When I cracked open the packaging, the first bar of soap I smelled was a Lather of the Loyal. Now Lather of the Loyal is a bar of soap that was inspired by the house of Hufflepuff. This is a medium grip bar of soap. Featured ingredients in this bar of soap includes cut plant extract, pomace, which serves as an exfoliant, and badger yellow oats. Now they say this bar of soap smells like fresh baked pastries, but when I first smelled this bar of soap, it reminded me of a cup of coffee with creamer in it. Now my wife loves coffee and she always likes her coffee with some type of nice creamer in it. I actually asked her to smell it and she loved it. Even though it has notes of vanilla, rum, and tonka, I smell hazelnut and caramel. This bar soap is not my favorite, even though my wife loves it. The next bar soap that I smelled when I opened up the package was Suds of the Sly. I like the name Slytherin. It wasn't my favorite house, but I just like the name of it. Now this is a zero grip bar soap, which is a plus for me, cause you know how I feel about zero grip bar soaps. You can use them every day. Featured ingredients of this bar soap include snake grass extract, skull cap powder, and necklace pot extract. They say this bar soap smells like the Black Lake. I would say it does have a fresh woodsy scent to it. Even though I like the fragrance of this bar soap, it's very light. Not I don't like. I rank this bar soap at number three because it's not that strong. Brick of the Brave. Now this is inspired by the house of Gryffindor, which is a familiar house to me. I believe that's the house that Harry Potter was a part of. Correct me, let me know in the comment section if I'm right or not. This is a heavy grit bar soap. The featured ingredients includes sorgrass extract, lion's tooth, and griffonian extract. I like the description of this bar soap because they say it smells like a crackling fire from a fireplace that you'll see in a room in Gryffindor. I do smell the smokiness of this bar of soap and if a room in Gryffindor with a fireplace smell like this, that's the room I'm spending most of my time in. I'm studying in there, I'm practicing my spells and all that in there. But I really like the smell of this bar of soap. I feel like it has a nice, sweet, but spicy, masculine, and smoky scent to it. And I'm not really a big fan of smoky scents, but if, but if there's a smokiness to it, it's very mild. So I really like that with this, with the fragrance of this bar of soap. And I put this one at number two, but it's a heavy grip bar of soap, so I can't really use it every day. I don't wanna damage my skin, and it's always recommended that if you're using a heavy grip bar of soap, that you use it at least one to two times a week. Grit of the genius. So this bar of soap is inspired by the house of Ravenclaw, which is a house I'm not very familiar with, but it is a light grip bar soap. And I like light grip bar soaps because you can use them more than you can heavy grit and medium grip bar soaps because they're not too aggressive. Featured ingredients of this bar soap include blue passion flower, crownwood fern extract, and pumice. Now they say that this bar soap smells like the top of a tower. And I really like the fragrance of this bar soap because even though it has a fresh, clean scent to it, it also has a, a touch of a woodsy scent to it as well. So I really like that. My problem with this bar soap is that the fragrance isn't that strong. Now, if the fragrance was strong, I would love this bar soap. But because it's not that strong, I just like it. I like it, I don't love it. Even though it's not that strong, I put this at number one because out of all the bar soaps that's included in this collection, this is my favorite scent and I really like it. Plus it's blue, which is my favorite color. So you can't go wrong with a bar of soap that's blue. 
But overall, Dr. Squash did a solid job with this collection. And I think you guys should pick it up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like we always do.